Launched in 2012, the G7's Alliance for Food Security ushered in a new phase of industrial-scale farming in Africa. The ambitious intent behind what would be an agrarian revolution to accelerate responsible investment and lift some 50 million people out of poverty within a decade. The World Development Movement Pressure Group, however, claims the policy has amounted to a land grab, boosting the profits of agricultural corporations and squeezing small farmers who produce most of Africa's food. Many of the countries involved are being asked to change their land laws to make it easier for foreign companies to come in and take over land um, which they can use for, for example, large-scale plantations. Um, and what this is going to mean for those who currently feed most of the, the African population is that they will be pushed off land, um, lose their homes and lose their livelihoods. Wealthy Western consumers are the target for much of the food from large-scale farming, according to the World Development Movement. Increased food production mirrored only in a rise in the numbers of undernourished in Africa. There's enough food being produced, the problem is that that food is not getting to the people who need it. Um, and many of the, the poorest people are not going to benefit from this scheme because it effectively concentrates the, the returns from farming into the hands of, of wealthy corporations. Britain's government, it's argued, is party to what the World Development Movement called a latter-day scramble for Africa by diverting a billion dollars of food aid. This has been a debate that can trace its roots to Britain's dark imperial past. And while the current government maintains its intentions are good, the arguments will rage on into the 21st century. Richard Bestick, CCTV, London.